guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this very easy and quick horse so you'll need this brown yarn and the uh, the light brown yarn and the dark brown yarn for the hair and also you'll need the materials that I named uh, before we started this video so get your materials ready and let's get started okay so we're going to start by doing a chain 15 so I already did that. Now in the first row, starting in the second chain from the hook, we are going to do single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, so we'll do single crochet, single crochet, okay. And then you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way until the end of the chain okay so when you get to the end of the chain you're going to do single crochet and then chain one and turn okay so now in our second row we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch okay so we'll do two single crochets Okay, and then we are going to continue and do single crochet in all the remaining stitches. Okay, so we'll do single crochet. Okay, and continue doing single crochet until the end. Okay, so when you get to the last stitch, you're going to do single crochet, then you'll do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now in our third row, we are going to do single crochet all the way except in the last stitch. Okay, so we'll do single crochet, then continue doing your single crochets. Okay, and you'll do that until you have one stitch remaining here at the end. Okay, so when we get to the end in the last stitch, we are going to do two single crochets in the same stitch. And then we'll do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now in our fourth row, we are going to start by doing two single crochets in the first stitch. Okay, so we'll do two single crochets in the same stitch and then after that we'll continue and do single crochets all the way to the end okay so we'll do single crochet okay single crochets and continue like that all the way until the end of the row okay so in the last chain stitch we are going to do single crochet chain one and turn okay so now in our sixth row uh in our fifth row sorry we are going to do single crochet all the way until the end okay so you're going to continue and do single crochet And you're going to continue doing single crochets all the way to the end. Okay, so in the last stitch, we'll do a single crochet, chain one and turn. Okay, so in our sixth row, we'll do same as the fifth row. You're going to do single crochet all the way until the end of the row. Okay, so you're going to continue and do single crochet all the way to the end okay okay so when you get to the end of the sixth row we are going to do single crochet in the last stitch and then in the same stitch we are going to slip stitch and cut off the yarn okay so that's our first leg so now we are going to continue working on the body so turn your work like this and then you're going to count to the seventh stitch. 
so we count one two three four five six seven here in the seventh stitch we are going to attach our yarn like that okay and then we'll do a chain one okay so now starting in the same stitch that we did uh, that we attached our yarn we are going to do single crochet all the way to the end so we'll have a total of 11 stitches okay so just to make sure we're going to count the stitches do you count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven okay then we'll do a chain one and turn okay so now in our eighth row we are going to do single crochet until here so 11 single crochets okay so we'll continue to do single crochet Okay, so when you get to the end you're going to do chain one and turn okay so now in this row which is the ninth row until the eleventh row okay you're going to do single crochet all the way until here for a total of 11 stitches in each row okay so repeat the same as the way we did the eighth row so I'll see you when you're done with the eleventh row so that we do the twelfth row together Okay, so at the end of the 11th row this is how our work looks like so in the last stitch we are going to do single crochet chain one and turn so now in our 12th row we're going to do single crochet again until the end Okay, and then at the end of the 12th row we are going to do a chain 7 to form the other leg so we'll do chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then turn okay so starting in the second chain from the hook we are going to do single crochet all the way until here okay so we are going to continue into the chain and do single crochet in every chain Okay, and then continuing to the body, we are going to continue doing our single crochets. Okay, and you're going to continue until here at the end of the row. Okay, so now at the end of the row, we are going to do single crochet in the last stitch, chain one and turn. So now in our 14th row, we are going to start by doing two single crochets in the first stitch. So we'll do two single crochet in the same stitch and we'll continue to do single crochet in all the other stitches.
stitches. Okay, so do single crochet until here, the end of the row. Okay, so when you get to the end, in the last stitch, we're going to do single crochet, chain one end, turn. Okay, and then now in this row, um, which is our 15th row, we're going to do single crochet all the way, except in the last stitch. Okay, so you continue to do single crochets. Okay, so do single crochets until you have one stitch left here at the end. Okay, so now in the last stitch, we are going to do two single crochets in the same stitch. And then we'll do a chain one and turn. So now in our 16th row, we are going to do two single crochets in the first stitch. And we'll continue to do single crochet in all the other stitches. Okay, so in the last stitch, we are going to do single crochet, chain one and turn. So now in our 17th row, we are going to do single crochet all the way, except in the last stitch. Okay, so we're going to continue to do single crochet in every stitch until you have one stitch left here at the end. Okay, so in our last stitch, we are going to do two single crochets in the same stitch and then chain one and turn. So now in our 18th row, we are going to start by doing two single crochets in the first stitch. And then we'll do single crochet in all the remaining stitches. Okay, so continue doing your single crochets. Okay, so in our last stitch, we are going to do single crochet. And then in the same stitch, we are going to slip stitch and cut off the yarn. Like that. Okay, and now we are going to start making the head and to make the head, I'm going to turn my work like this and I'm going to count 13 stitches from the bottom. So I'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and in the 13th stitch over here I'm going to attach my yarn. Like that and then I'll do a chain one okay so now in our 19th row uh, we are going to do a single crochet all the way to the end starting here okay so we'll do single crochet one two so there will be a total of nine single crochets three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, and then we'll do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now in our 20th row, we are going to start by doing two single crochets in the first stitch. So we'll do two single crochet and 
single crochet in the remaining stitches. Okay, so in the last stitch we are going to do single crochet and then slip stitch in the same stitch and cut off the yarn again okay and then now we are going to turn our work like that so now in our 21st row we are going to count three stitches from the bottom so we count one two and here in the third stitch I'm going to attach my yarn again like that and then I'll do a chain one and we'll do single crochet in the in all the stitches except in the last stitch okay so we'll do single crochet starting with where we attached our yarn single crochet Okay, so in the last stitch, we are going to do two single crochets. And then we'll do chain one and turn. Okay, so now in our 22nd row, we're going to start by doing two single crochets in the first stitch. And then we'll do single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, four, and then chain one and turn. Okay, so now in our 23rd row, we'll do single crochet all the way to the end. So single crochet Okay, and then we'll do chain one and turn so in our 24th row, we'll start by decreasing. So we'll go into the first stitch, pull through, go into the second stitch, pull through, and then you'll have three loops on your hook and you pull through all the three loops together. And then we'll do single crochet in the remaining stitches. Okay, so single crochet in the last stitch, chain one and turn. Okay, so now in our 25th row, we'll do single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, three, and then we'll decrease one time in the next two stitches. Okay, and then we'll do chain one and turn. Okay, so now in our 26th row, we'll do single crochet in all the remaining stitches. And then you'll do chain one and turn. And then now in our 27th row, we'll do single crochet in the first two stitches. So single crochet, one, two, and then a decrease. So decrease. Okay, and then chain one and turn. In our 28th row, which is the last row, we'll do 
single crochet in all the three stitches one two three and then I'll slip stitch in the same stitch and cut off my yarn like that okay so this is how our horse looks like so all these yarns you're supposed to uh, do the finishing so what I normally do is I go into the next stitch for example put my hook through the next stitch Okay, and then I'll pull through the yarns together like that and then I'll go into another stitch in the body pull through one strand of yarn and tie I'll tie it together like that okay and cut it off so that's how it's supposed to look like and I'll do like that in all the other yarns so that it looks clean like in this horse as you can see so you're supposed to make two parts like this so that we attach them together okay so now I'll show you how to make the ears okay, so the ears are quite easy we'll make a chain four one two three four and then starting in the second chain from the hook we'll make one single crochet and then we'll make two single crochets in the next stitch so in the same stitch do two single crochets okay and then we'll do four single crochets in the last stitch so do single crochet one and then in the same stitch do three more single crochets so two three and four and then working on the other side so in this other side we have two chains remaining okay so we'll go uh, in the next chain and then do two single crochets in the next chain and then we'll do single crochet in the next chain on this other side and then we'll finish up go to the first stitch that we made and slip stitch and then cut off the yarn and then you cut it off long enough for sewing like that okay so you make another ear just like this okay so now i'll show you how to attach the two parts together Okay, so now to put the two parts together, I'm going to put uh, the two the two parts adjacent to each other. So make sure like uh, they are all adjacent to each other. And then I'll pick up my yarn, and then I'll start from here at the top. And. I'll attach the yarn on both sides and then I'll do a chain one okay and then starting from the next uh, the next here stitch in on both sides I'll do single crochet
and then we'll continue to do single crochet all the way round in both parts Okay, so this is how the edging is supposed to look like and you're going to continue doing single crochets on both parts all the way around and when you get here at the top make sure you stuff uh, make sure you stuff your horse completely before you close all the way to the end okay so I'll see when you're done attaching all the parts together and then I'll explain how to attach the other parts. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I've already finished attaching the two parts together. And I did a little part of the parts over here. So we'll start with the tail. So for the tail, I did a chain five. Then I attached it over here. And then put the little strands of yarn at the back, at the end. And then here for the horse hair, what we do is you cut short strands of yarn like this and then you come here at the top put your crochet hook through where we did single crochets and then you'll take it through when it's when it looks like this when it's folded and then you take the end part pull it through so you have something like look that looks like this as you can see okay and then I put my crochet hook through here and pull the two strands together like that and then lock them okay so like that and then you continue doing it until here at the top so fold your yarn take your crochet hook pull Okay, and then the two strands here, just pull them using the crochet hook and lock. Okay, and then you're going to cut them according to the size that you want them to be, just like that. And then uh, for your ear, you're going to fold it like this and then attach it here at the top. And then I embroidered the little eye over here. And also I did uh, a little bit of the mouth using the brown yarn that I used for the hair. Okay, and then you'll do all this also on the other side. Okay, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this pattern. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. And if you have been subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And until next time, bye.